Hi, welcome to the introduction of the new design space, which is a technology preview in the latest release of Photoshop CC. So what is design space? Design space is a new streamlined targeted experience for designers, particularly UX, mobile app and web designers, where we offer a clutter-free UI as well as new interactions and new features that are targeted for your specific workflows. It's an early look, not everything is there yet, so you can't complete a workflow, but we wanted to release this early so you get a look at what we're doing and you can give us feedback. This is how you access it. So you come into your preferences under technology previews, you say enable design space, and the first time doing so, after you say okay, you're gonna get hopped into the design space. Here's an introductory uh, onboarding that gives you a high level view of uh, some of the new features and how to jump back and forth, etc. So definitely read through that. And on the last page, this is how you can reach out to us and actually give us feedback and talk to us. Click anywhere outside of this to dismiss that. Again, to jump back into standard Photoshop, you can go under the Windows menu or you can come here to the bottom of the toolbar to jump back and forth and similar thing inside of Photoshop. You can toggle the two spaces that way. On the right hand side here, without any documents open, you can uh, click on any of these artboard templates to get started really quickly, or you have a list of recent files. I don't have anything there right now because I just deleted my preferences. So let's go ahead and open a couple things so you can get an idea of what we've done here in this new space. Uh, starting out with this document, you can see here that on the right hand side here, I have a minimal tool set. I can pin and unpin this too, so I can just have it show the tool that I have selected. The idea is that you know, after you, you're familiar with the tools and the shortcuts that are there, you don't really need to be uh, looking at the toolbar and having it take up space. So uh, for now, let's leave it pinned here. Okay, on the right-hand side here, you have your alignment options on the top here. It's always exposed, no panels, no dialogues. You don't have, to, you just have everything that you need available for you. Your styling option here is contextual. So depending on what I have selected in my canvas, this will give me the styling properties. So here's my vector object. Here's my type styling options and then my layers. And I can always double click any of these sections to collapse and expand them. Selection is simplified. It's much easier now to target on canvas the group or nested group or layer that you want. I simply double click here. It selects the top group. I can dig in here to let's say a pill bottle. You can see it digs in a little bit deeper. I can double click even further. Now I have the background layer selected and I can double click again and now I'm in path editing mode. I didn't have to choose any tools. I didn't have to switch between move tool to black or white arrow tool. It just does it for me. I can escape to back out. Same thing for type tool. If I double click, it goes into the type tool automatically. I don't have to switch to the type tool and escape to back out. I can always command click to directly select what's underneath my cursor to get to exactly the object that I want. So that selection, swapping is super easy, swapping contents between a pair. So I have my shirt group selected here. I can uh, shift click and select the record group. So you can see in my layers panel, I have two groups selected. Now I'm just gonna click this button, swap position, and it swaps the contents on canvas. Really easy to do. Oh, quick little note, if I have an object selected, I have this tips object. When I hit command plus, it zooms in and centers that, which is a really cool, nice little addition. Okay, so quick styling option. Let's go ahead and uh, draw out some buttons here. It's the same color as the background, so you can't see it. I wanna change the color. I can enter CSS values directly here, or I can enter in hex values, 2B, 2B, 2B in this case, for light gray. Let's add a stroke. I can even use CSS defined colors, so I can just call this gray or white or whatever color, and it automatically applies that right color there. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate this across. Um, here we go, let's drag this over and, all right, I have three buttons. Now I'm gonna resize these and restyle them so you can kind of start to see some of the efficiencies that we're introducing. Let's go ahead and select three of these. Uh, top section here, let's go ahead and vertically and horizontally align the midpoints. Uh, width, I want this to be 280 pixels, that's great. It does the right thing, it makes each button 280 pixels, just smarter. Um, height, I'm gonna use a math operator here. Actually, all are numeric fields except math operators, making it so I don't have to do the math. For example, let's say this header is 240 pixels and I want these buttons to be a third of that. Well, I can just enter 240 divided by three, making it super easy. Great, so that looks pretty good. Let's get that centered. Let's add a radius and I can adjust my strokes, uh, add drop shadows, etc., cetera, whatnot, uh, directly right here. Oops, the radius didn't go through. 
making it really easy to style multiple objects. This is a start of something that we're working on in terms of enabling a new space inside of Photoshop for designers that's streamlined and targeted, and uh, we hope you like it. So stay connected with us to hear about updates. We plan to update you as we go. And of course, give us feedback on what you think. Thanks.